A Burlington veteran has done her share of traveling between her service in the U.S. Navy and the career she has today. She told me that despite being out of the military for more than 15 years, there is still one phone call she would drop everything to answer. And that's why I'm saying good for her. One more look under the hood at her locker's truck and trailer repair in Graham. Everything looks good. Everything sounds good. We've listened to everything. Um, got good clean oil in it. Gave Tammy Portarella the green light. It's always exciting when you, it's been down so long and you crank it up for that first time. This truck driver is back in business. It can take me from Wilmington, North Carolina, all the way to Barstow where 40 ends or starts if you want to look at it that way. I've been all, the whole length of it. Her 10 years in trucking have taken her all across America. I've been all, pretty much in all 48 states and just hauling all kinds of things. But her military service has taken her around the world. Greece, England, France, Italy, uh, Suda Bay Crete, Portugal, wow. I, Dubai. Tammy was 20 years old when she went to boot camp in Great Lakes, Illinois to prepare for the Navy. There yeah, there I am. In North Carolina. Yep. A dream she'd had since she was a teenager. I went to Norfolk, Virginia, and I was stationed on the USS Enterprise for four years, from 99 to 2003. Then I transferred to HC8, also in Norfolk, and I was there from the early 2004 to 2006 when I got discharged. She was an aviation boatswain's mate. We're the ones that do the launching and recovery of the aircraft on the flight deck. So basically, we're the ones that never slept. <laughs> Out of all the memories Tammy made during her service, there are a few that stand out. The building, the, one of the trade centers was smoking and we're like, what the heck's going on? I swear it was not even a few minutes later, the other plane goes crashing into it and it was just eerie silence in the room. We were just dead silent in shock because we all knew what was coming, that we were about to go to war. And we had just left the Gulf just a few days before on our way to Cape Town, South Africa. So we had to turn around and head back up there. Tammy says it was about a month after the September 11th terrorist attacks that they started flying at night going after the Taliban, a mission she's most proud of. The fact that I was part of the retaliation of 9-11, I would have to say, to, to get some justice for all those people that were killed that day. Now 16 years in civilian life, the pride hasn't faded. Our oath doesn't expire just because we're discharged. Tammy went to truck driving school in Virginia Beach a few months before getting out of the service. After some stints working with other people, she decided to head out on her own. I got my LLC in 2019, and then last year, of course, the rates were really good. So I decided, you know, if I'm going to do it, now's the time to do it. And she rarely hits the road without wearing her Navy veteran hat. It's hard to explain. It's just. Something, unless you served, you probably would never understand the, the level of pride that veterans have. <laughs> if I had to go back, I would. I'm not in best shape anymore, but I would definitely go. I wouldn't hesitate. If they called me right now and said, hey, we need you to go, I'm gone. That's right. If they called her, she would go. Well, Tammy has also earned a bachelor's degree in criminal justice since ending her service.